guys um i don't know my name um, welcome all you all of you to this channel so today we are going to be talking about i hope i just finished reading the fatherhood principle by thomas more um, it's all about looking unto god as our father and the father of all my race by creation looking unto him and emulating him seeing the principles you can learn from him so that's what the book is all about so now who is a father the father is someone who all springs come out from so maybe like children you give birth to children biologically and then you um creating things like microsoft like creating things like uh, facebook um Mazuga web is the founder of facebook look i also see is what the father of what facebook so that's who the father is i'm not just creating things it's about developing your, your this thing uh, yeah. so what is fatherhood i checked the oxford dictionary because you won't see a literal definition inside the book so you see that that is a fatherhood is a state of being what a father as a father as a male now what's your priority what's your position so your priority as a male is what having developing your children fathering fathering others that's your priority and we see that father is the main goal of of being a father is to develop your children into the state you want them to be that is when you see them you say okay i've developed this child into how it will be so that's how you measure if you are a successful father so as a male your priority is to develop your your offspring developing them and training them disciplining them until they become what you say so and your that is your that is your priority and that's your position your position is to be a father and then your priority is to develop your offspring to become what you want them to become and unfortunately like our society is in trouble because of fathers males have refused to take up their position of a father and there's a point to note <laughs> being a father is having a sense of responsibility so that's what all men should 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 claim to strive to be so now what is the purpose of fatherhood the purpose of fatherhood is to what develop your offspring to the vision you are seeing for them the 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 stage you are seeing for them to reach where they can stand on their own when they see you and see them they will, they will not be able to differentiate between the two of you being a father with that kind of purpose you realize the purpose of fatherhood you see that the male is what the foundation and anchor that is the foundation is like this house now the foundation is what they build the house on so that is the foundation so you see that the society is what built on the male the human race is built on what adam so using that analogy now god has positioned adam as male so the the society is built on the male you are the one to train your offspring you are the one to teach your offspring discipline your offspring whether you you, you consciously discipline them or not or you just leave them you are still training them so you are training them you are leaving the society to train them for you or you are training them the way you want them to be so the, the, the is is the male is what the priority the foundation sorry and the anchor and then the cornerstone of fatherhood so since you are looking at god as the father then the cornerstone which is the most the where where the fatherhood the state of being a father is supposed to be built on is what god so that is that is just it then the role of the male then basic functions of fatherhood if you want to know that this person is actually a father first of all we say he has to be what somebody that is that takes responsibility but we'll have 10 10 10, 10 things we can be able to see okay this is a, a father so the first one we have the source and progenitor we have the sustain, uh, sustainer nurturer protector we have the teacher we have the discipline it is someone who disciplines we have the head and leader we have the one who cares and is a developer so as a father you have to first of all to be to be a father first of all you have to be what the source and progenitor so source as in 
the seed of that offspring is from you. You are the source of that offspring. Maybe your, your child now with the sperm is from the father. That is the seed of that child. And then you are the progenitor. You are the sustainer of all generations after that thing. Okay, now you are the sustainer of that son and his children too after. So all generations after you, you are the sustainer, you are the progenitor, you are the foundation. And also, you can, you can take for instance now, cars, maybe or maybe that is a, this is a far fetch. This is let's let's take for instance Facebook. So you are, you are using you are using Facebook now. You, you say after some time you say update your your app. That is they are the, they are the, they are trying to what they are the, trying to they are the source they are the source actually, and then they are trying to they are the foundation of what all generations after this. So all versions of Facebook. They are the what? They are the source. They are the progenitor. So they are the ancestors. So that that's just it. And then we we'll have what? Father as what? Sustainer, nurturer, and protector. So you have to sustain your offspring. You have to nurture them into what you want them to become. You have to protect them from the violence in the world because the world is evil and everything. You have to protect them from what you want them to, from what you don't want them to ever become, from principles that you don't want them to imbibe. And you have to sustain them and nurture them into principles you want them to what imbibe that will stay with them. But we say train up a child in the way he should go, and when he goes, he will not depart from it. So the next part is what the father as a teacher. So as a teacher, as a father, you are a teacher. You can't develop. You cannot train your child without teaching him. Teach, teaching is the basic thing, whether formal teaching informal teaching so you have to teach your child teach your child the way of the Lord since you are looking out to God as our father you have to teach them the way of, of God so that by the time they are on their own they can be able to stand the father has one who disciplined so people have gotten this misconception of that they are, they are confusing discipline and punishment together but punishment is actually causing great harm for a crime someone commits discipline will not they will not give you punishment because in the name of discipline. Discipline is actually teaching, correcting, and giving further instruction. So now, that that's what discipline is all about. You you teach the child, you correct the child when the child makes a mistake, and then you give further instructions on how to use it. So in discipline, you are there's avenue for trying and feeling. As in, you don't compare the child with other with other people. Or you don't compare your offspring with others. You don't because the only the only, the only standard person that we, we, we can ever compare someone with is Jesus. Even you yourself, as the father, you also are not the same. But you, you give opportunity for the child to develop, to grow, to develop. We'll come, we'll talk on that later. You, you give opportunity for the child to. To this thing. you discipline the child that is you put the child under under this in discipline as in you help the child to learn self-control you help the child to learn things by teaching correcting and then giving further instruction so the next the next function the next role of a father is what you are the head and you are the leader that does not make you superior to everybody under you but you are the head you are the leader you are you are the leader in terms of direction. You are the head in terms of you are the one planning. You are the one that has vision for the family and for each member of the family. You know everything that is going on in the family within every with, with every member of the family. Most people now are too busy with their work. They don't even know what's going on with their children. They don't even know what's going on with their wives. They are too busy. But as the head, you are the one to know everything where what your child needs, what your child is facing the challenges they should be able to express if they are listening you you should also have time to listen to them you should also have time to listen to god too so that you can be able to communicate with them so that that's you say you are the leader you, you direct your family you say okay this is where our family we are going okay we, this is what you are going to do as our next family project this is what you are going to get as our next family project this is what you are going to do you are the leader you so you can you sit down with your family and plan so that's why you're the leader you pray for your family you do you do everything guys you they have to look at you and say okay this is where our father is going this direction is going and be able to 
follow you. You also have a plan for your family. That's who, that's one thing that makes you a father. That's one of your functions and role as a, as a father. So, a father, another role is what? Someone who cares. As in care, that is, you care, they are, that they are always in your mind. They are, you are always thinking of them. Nowadays, we have fathers that think of their job every time. They are, they are sitting down, they are at home, they are sleeping, they are dreaming of their job, and all those things. But no, you, you, are, you, are having, you have that job because of your family. So you, you don't just pour out all your energy inside that job without concentrating on your family. So you have to know how to balance it. So care here means someone who, who is not just... You, you pay attention to their needs and you don't just stop there. You can be able to discern, okay, by so 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 time, my child will need this. Okay, then you plan in pre prepare, preparing um, so, uh, this thing for their this thing. So the next, this thing, um, the next role of a father is what? A developer. As a father, you develop your children. You, you, that, is, that is the main this thing. So it's, that is everything here is on developing them. You have to develop them. You have to create environment for development by encouraging them, by creating avenue for them to try, to for them to fail, by not criticizing them on their weakness, focusing on their strength. Because as you focus on your strength, your weakness becomes what you do say, and then you don't compare them. So, so, so then those are those are what makes you a father. They, you have to, you, have, you are you are, you are the source. You are the progenitor. You are the you are the source of the seed. You are the foundation of the the asset. Your the generations after you, after them. You are the sustainer. You are the nurturer. You are the protector. You are the teacher. You are the one who develops them, who disciplines them, who teaches them, who is their leader and their head, and who cares for them. Most importantly, you develop them. That is the most important thing. In developing, you create environment for them to develop, and then the rest falls in place. And in short, all of them are important. All of them are important. They are inter -woven. So the next part, fulfilling your purpose as a father. So we've seen the the things that make you a father. That is the rules and the functions of a father. We've looked at who a father is. So now, what's the purpose of a father? You have said times you don't know, but the purpose of a father is to develop the child to to become like him or even better better than him. So as a father, you have to you know that the purpose of you being a father one is to what to be able to enter the presence of God. That is one of the ways to the vital signs that you are a father. Number two, to be able to manifest God what, what God has put inside you. Number three, to cultivate to develop your children, to teach them, number four, to protect them. So th those are the signs of you being a father. So now, so now, a father will talk of being a father, even without having children, yeah, yeah, you can be a father, because fatherhood is all about having responsibility for others. That's what fatherhood is all about. So now, you will see that there are many orphans around them. And also, God has, as in His, in His marvelous way, provided the church to father all this kind of missing. So, as a father, you have to have the responsibility for others too. If you see others, you have to know, you have the responsibility for for training them. Not just you can be a father of one person, a father of two, a father of hundreds, a father of thousands, or father of hundreds of thousands, millions, depending on what. Looking onto God as your director. That is the only way you can do it. It will. It's, it's, even fathering one person is overwhelming. It's, it's, you can't do it except to look unto God for guidance and for direction. So now, the principle of fatherhood, which, which this book is all about, because since we just explained the book, we won't talk about the principles of fatherhood. So now, the principle of fatherhood, we have about five of them, which are number one, source of seed. So that is, as a media, the source of the seed. Number two, nourisher of the fruit. Three, source of female. Four, designed to protect its, or its fruit. Five, type of offspring and quality. Six, you maintain the offspring. And seven, you teach. So as you teach your discipline, it's what you are that you teach your discipline. So what they are teaching your discipline you, is, is that as you are teaching the words you are teaching, they become what they are teaching them, and that is who you are. 
Yeah. So you cannot be saying, go that way and you, you are going this way. It's where you are going that they will follow you, but they are your disciples, offspring disciples. So the quality, their quality is you. So our quality are you. So that, that's what this book is. The book has many principles in it that it opened my eyes to many things, and most especially responsibility, responsibility for others. So that, 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 that's it. So don't, that's the book I just finished reading, all about the book I just finished reading. You can, you can look it up if you want, but know that for you to be a father, you have to be responsible.